Hey fans of high quality entertainment, I am with Glenn Kellaway from The Basement. And uh, sadly, we're not going to do our regular CD exchange because you're flying over to Europe. My arms are going to be no, tired. You're, you're going somewhere. I'm going uh, to Florida. Yeah. Leaving tomorrow, Larry. Yep. Gone for two weeks. I'll miss you. I, I will miss you too. Anyway, uh, Glenn gave me... The Sincerity in, Brothers. In no particular order, Jeff Beck, Truth, uh, Robbie Robertson, Cinematic, John Mellencamp, Strictly a One-Eyed Jack, uh, The Midnight Callers, Rattled, Rattled Humming Heart, And Ry Cooter, get rhythm. And I gave Glenn. Roxy Music. This is her first album, right? Yep. Self titled? Yep. What's they call that? Em Epotamus? Em debut. Yes, yeah, debut. Self titled. Imperial Bedroom. Elvis Costello. Costello. The deluxe edition of this amazing album. Gene Clark, no other. It's this. I'm listening to disc two, which is the stripped down version of the album. The tubes again, it's hippopotamus and nursery crimes. So, I asked uh, just a quick poll there on my page what you would place them in. James Wilson 7084 said Gene Clark number one, then Elvis Costello, The Tubes, and Roxy Music. I don't have the fifth one. There. Then Brian JV5ME said Elvis Costello, Gene Clark, Genesis, Roxy Music. Uh, Pow, Gene said Elvis Costello, Genesis, Gene Clark, and then The Tubes. And then it says read more, but Gene I can't doesn't know them very well. I know. Z Zeb. Genesis, Gene Clark, Elvis Costello, Roxy Music, and then The Tubes. And Marianne Lockwood said Roxy Music, The Tubes, Gene Clark, Genesis, and Elvis Costello in last place. The women don't seem to know me very well. No. Story of my life, Larry. So I think, let's, how do you think we'll rank each of them? We'll do this. Oh, that's hard because I thought I'd give you five pretty darn albums that I think are pretty darn good. I'm going to go. <laughs> Okay, you want me to go first? Sure. Okay, I think I think you're gonna like this. You're a Zeppelin fan. If you like Zeppelin, you gotta love that album. So that's number one. Number one. Number two, Midnight Callers, because that's a really good album. Number three, Robbie Robertson. Number four, Ry Cooter. And number five, John Mellencamp. Now let's not. I'm on a streak here, Larry. Last week I got yeah. them accurately. So much for the streak. <laughs> I think you'll have Roxy Music at number five. I just don't think it's your thing. Number four, The Tubes. I'm not sure about this. It's 50-50 I mean, that you'll like. It. And even this, I'm not sure. Nursery Crime Genesis. But number two, you should love Imperial Bedroom. It's so awesome. And number one, of course, Gene Clark. There you go. Okay. So drum roll. So do, who's, do, going, do, do, do. who's going first? Now I got to figure what I did here. And I even wrote some notes this time. Okay. My, uh, who's going first? You can go first. What's your number five, Glenn? Number five is uh, Roxy Music. Yeah. yeah. You know what? I really appreciate this band, but I just. There's something about it. You know what? It's Brian Ferry's vocals sometimes are really annoying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can see that. <laughs> I mean, such talented musicians and everything. And some of the songs I really like. Like, yeah. it started off really good. The first track was yeah, great. Whatever. Yeah. yeah. I can't remember the name of it now. Yeah, that's my back. favorite song, too. Yeah. And um, then it kind of got, I don't know. Is it, it was inventive. It's different. Um, I can see how why people like it. It's a bit campy for me, I think. So uh, I still like Avalon a lot better, but um, six out of ten, Larry. Okay. Okay, my number five is possibly 
the worst album you've ever given me. I hate it that much. Wow. I, I only More play... than Kurt Vile, which if you had to if you had to go on a desert island and take Kurt Vile or John Mellencamp with you. No, it's not John Mellencamp. Oh, really? No. I'm sorry, Glenn. Oh, it's get out of that Hoover. town. I did not like this. I his vocals I didn't like. The music I just one of my favorite I, artists of I all did, time. My I just favorite don't guitar like player him. ever. It's like you with Sparks. I don't like, you don't like talent. I, I, three, I get it. three out of ten. Oh, I mean, that's of insane. course, it, I'm not saying he doesn't have talent. His version of Get Rhythm? Get yeah, Rhythm. Yeah, I'd rather listen to Johnny. Take, oh, that, take that away. That's brutal. Yeah, there you well, go. I don't think Larry's a fan of like roots music. No. And stuff. <laughs> Push me. <laughs> it's your turn, Glenn. What's I number four? I can't even go now. <laughs> You're so depressed. Come on. I'm... It's not a good morning, is it? <laughs> He's out of here. <laughs> Hold on. Let me compose myself here. Oh. Oh. Wipe away the tears. Okay. Ready to go. Mary, I'm trying so hard to like Genesis, yeah. but they just, they're so freaking boring. Like, it's just, there's nothing that, if the music isn't dynamic, the, there's nothing interesting about these guys for something. I did like Foxtrot, some of the stuff on Foxtrot, and I just I'm telling. Well, you, I hope if you have a meet and greet like, with Steve Hackett but I later this Steve year, Hackett you can just tell. Stuff. You know, I really don't care for your work in Genesis. I don't, <laughs> but he does the Genesis stuff yeah. on his own, and it's fantastic. Yeah. It's it's, yeah. it's the interpretation. Yeah, well. It's like. I'm just getting Play I'm very me busy. old King Cole. Yeah. What? TikTok. TikTok. Yeah. Stupid. Anyway, just because I'm and uh, and what do you say? Uh, I'm. Uh, I like to get even. Yeah. Um, three out of ten. Okay, that that hurts. Yeah. yeah. Now Take number that. four for me. Is John Mellencamp, but I like it, Glenn. And I don't know if you know this or not, but I I wrote it down here. I used to buy a lot of John Mellencamp. Yeah, me too. I, from 1982 to 1996, I was buying his albums. Yeah. So from American Fool to uh, Uh Huh, Scarecrow, yeah. The Lonesome Jubilee, which is my favorite. Yeah, that was Big a great album. Daddy. Whenever we wanted, human wheels, dance naked, and Mister Mister Happy Go Lucky is when I yeah I lost interest. Loved, in yeah, him. I think I kind of lost interest in uh, that, that time too. And his, of course, his his voice is kind of shot, and he's still smoking and everything. Yeah. Right? After he had his heart attack a few years back, he was still smoking. I know. Like, yeah, he's just yeah. <laughs> but but he's kind of found a way to use his no, voice. No, he's a great songwriter. Yeah. Uh, it's a very good album. Uh, his his vocals didn't bother me like I'd heard them before. I give this like a seven. I I really like. Uh, let's see, I always lie to strangers is oh yeah, my great favorite. song. Yeah. Sweet honey brown and then yeah. the one with Bruce Springsteen wasted days. I I like the most yeah. and chasing rainbows. So I give yeah. this like a seven point five. It's awesome. very good. Yeah, awesome. Yep. Larry, these next three are all great. Be very happy with these next three. First two. So I, I, they could almost be interchangeable. So I, I picked Elvis Costello number three. I really, the first time I listened to this, the, my first thought was it's very disjointed. It's like the songs, one song's in one style, and then it, like it does seem to be flow to the album. Mm -hmm. But then that's kind of the charm of the album. It's all different. And um, the more I listened to it, I listened to this like probably three times yeah. through. And I was really starting to like it yeah. the third time. So, Great songs um, on that. Yeah, and, yeah. and it's version of almost blue uh the long honeymoon yeah there was just a, just a really good album i i'm probably gonna pick this up if i see it and you use bins yeah, yeah. so well, that i'm giving that an eight out of ten good. all you elvis costello yeah. fans third is the midnight no what is it called the Midnight Callers. The Midnight Callers. So, uh, Steve, Matt, Matthew Street will be watching this video. So I love this. It's actually number one in my heart. <laughs> 10 out of 10. No, I give this an 8 out of 10. 
it's just like you said it's perfect if you like pop rock music it's just great right uh i like something a bit more challenging usually though but mm -hmm. to listen to it it's a really good listen and my favorite songs were new york tramp little runaround maggie was my favorite with oh, yeah, really, really nice harmonies in that yeah. and colors yeah but if you love you know like cheap trick kind of pop rock mm -hmm. and you mentioned the other band big uh, star big star i highly recommend this album uh eight out of ten for me there you go that was number three I still be right by your CD. Number two, Larry. Um, I'm making this number two because it's number one by a mile. So I felt um, kind of like it wasn't fair to the other discs to make it number one, if that makes sense. Because this is one of my top 25 albums of all time, Gene Clark's No Other. And I just freaking fell in love with the sessions yeah. part yeah. on just that's great and then they added the song train leaves here this morning which he wrote and the eagles yeah put on their first album i think and um this is just outstanding like if you no everybody others. should have this in their yeah it's a central album and yeah. the yeah the second disc blew me away this would be miles better than just about anything you'd ever give me so i feel bad just kind of breaking it against the others but 20 out of 10 amazing my number two is Robbie Robertson. Uh, yeah, uh, I hear you paint houses. That's awesome. Yeah, I didn't even realize at first that Van Morrison singing on it. And once we were brothers, Walking Beauty Way, nice bluesy track, and Re Remembrance. But the whole album, I like his vocals too. I think you know he's not a great singer, but no, again he, he knows how to use singer. his voice, right? And Maybe I, I wish there was a bit more lead guitar work on it, but mm -hmm. otherwise, yeah, eight, 8 out of 10 is really good. I think anybody that loved his first album, I don't know why, you know, they wouldn't love this just yeah. as much. Mm -hmm. I think it's as good. So that's number two. Why number one, Larry? Blew me away. I didn't know if you'd like it or not. I freaking love yeah. it. Yeah. What a great record. Yeah. I didn't realize I knew... Uh, uh, I, White Punks on Dope, I mentioned, was the only yeah. one I really was aware of the twos. But uh, What Do You Want From Life is yeah. a song I was yeah. I knew, too. I didn't know yeah. until it came on. Yeah. And uh, there's not a bad song on this album. It's interesting. It's great. It's rock. It's Well, I got a couple more Tubes albums well, for the future. Uh, yeah. This one I'm definitely going to yeah. add to my collection. I absolutely love this, Larry. 10 out of 10. I, I'm shocked that I like this. Yep. Yeah. So you liked I didn't it right know what away? to expect. Yeah, I first yeah. heard it, I liked it. I yeah. well, I didn't love it first listen. I liked yeah. it yeah. enough to go, wow. Yeah. Much different than I thought it would be. Yep, I and, bought that uh, back in 1975. Well, not me. <laughs> That's when it came out. I thought it was came out during the MTV or nope. for some reason. Nope. Well, My number one is a 10 out of 10. I've heard some of this before, but it's like Led Zeppelin copy them a little bit yeah, didn't of course they? It's, they did. it's yeah like jimmy P I, as much as i love led zeppelin they ripped off some people yeah. <laughs> like uh well i think jeff beck and led zeppelin and jimmy page were both trying to take music in this that direction yeah and jimmy page just ended up doing it better yeah like shapes of things i'd heard before i ain't yeah. superstitious i'd heard before and you shook me which led zeppelin did later yeah and Bolero, Bex Bolero's in the yeah. middle of how many but more times. The whole album is just 10 out of 10. I definitely need to get this. It's a hit. And the other, the follow ups are, are good too, right? Mm, and the, there was only one other one called Beckola. They only did oh, two yeah. albums. Okay. And it's not as good as this, yeah. but it's good. Yeah. 10 out of 10. Yeah, that's classic. Take that, Jimmy Page. Yeah. <laughs> that's that's another one that should be in everyone's place. Yeah. So that's it. Oh, Larry. There's no CD exchanges until. Still getting over the. Hold on a second. The hurt. Right, Cooter three. I gotta give him a new. I'm glad I'm wearing my pants for the pain. So that's it. We'll be back in a two or three weeks, <laughs> maybe. De depending if we still have a friendship or not. <laughs> Bye. Oh, remember to subscribe to his channel. Yeah. I might not be subscribed to it. Much, Add that, yeah, much well, you'll put me down to 1.99 subscribers again. <laughs> <Fine>. <laughs>